Well, we're settled in with our new baby, and we've given him a name. You guys all voted in the comments, and we're delighted to name our baby Bokoblin just what you told us to name him. We're going to tell you that a little bit later because uh, right now it's the weekend. It's the weekend and we're all settled in here and I'm just going to relax a little bit more uh, now that I can finally just kind of kick back and have a nice weekend to myself. And Link! Stick Link! What? Um, I know we discussed public school in the fall, but I think we should homeschool our baby. Well, it's summer. We can talk about that later. We could give him a head start by starting now. No, it's the weekend. I'm trying to I'm trying to enjoy my steak. Listen, I'm wary of all of uh, the employees and managers of small businesses that I frequent and also public school systems. You could call me Karen Zelda. <laughs> Karen Zelda. Cuz I'm Karen so much about our child's education. <laughs> but we need to homeschool this baby and I need you on board. Fine, let's do it. Let's uh, homeschool the baby Bokoblin. I'll take math. You can have English, social studies, art, gym, and history. <laughs> Step one, we got to build our baby's homeschool, a school building to school him at home in. All right, and we want, we're so excited to introduce you guys to the name of the baby Bokoblin as voted on by all of you. Link. Hold still for a second, Bokoblin. Stop Link. moving. Link. What? Are we doing that now? Yes. I We're gonna we're gonna unveil his name. Like a reveal party? Like a like a name reveal party. Is there gonna be decorations? Is it gonna be catered? No. Are we gonna invite all of our friends? No, that's overthinking it way too much. Will there be live music? No. Oh, you're no fun. You promised me fun and adventure. We're having fun and adventure. We have a baby Bokoblin that we're <laughs> living out in the middle of Hyrule. And romance. Okay. Well, what's his name? His name is Boko. Boko baby. <laughs> wow. He's happy. He likes it. He likes his name. He likes his name, Boko. He, uh, he won out very narrowly. It was a tight competition. Uh, we missed out on Robert Paulson. Bob. And, um, Groose Jr. <laughs> His name was Robert uh, Yeah, Wilson. a couple of the other contenders were Lumpers. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, Bob. And, uh, Gr Grungus. There were a lot of great Bingus. suggestions, actually. <laughs> we had fun reading through them and laughing up a storm. But, uh, baby Boko it is. Boko was just too cute to pass up. Well, we need to build Boko a learning annex. <laughs> Well, what are we going to build it out of, Mr. Link? Well, I don't know. What are the most learning annexes made out of? Uh, diamond. That's not true. <laughs> Emeralds. Learning annex are actually usually made out of... Spruce. Trailer homes. <laughs> That's true. They've got portable buildings. Let's see who can chop down a giant spruce first. I'm winning. That's not even a spruce, Link. Are you cheating? I'm oaking it up. Are you cheating on me? No, I'm cutting down oak trees. In the competition, of course. Not I would me. never cheat on you, Zelda. I don't even have uh, any friends to Nifa, cheat with. Mifa, we can talk later. <laughs> Mifa. I'll text, I'll text you. Loon. Maybe Loon. <laughs> she is a good kisser. I mean... <laughs> And she likes orbs. <laughs> <laughs> I love orbs. I love staring into the two orbs in the middle of your face, Link. <laughs> what about Sidon? Hey, baby, baby. This is a not a play place, Boko. I don't need anyone pushing mommy off of the- No, baby Boko! Now I've got to eat a steak. I haven't hey, even done any Boko, yoga yet. Boko, don't break mommy's legs. <laughs> How many times have I to- ah! In this Told house. You. Also, don't break your own legs. <laughs> we obey the laws of don't break your mom's legs. <laughs> well, let's start building a building a schoolroom for you, Boko. How about on top of the uh, on the second floor of this of our house? Oh, that's easy. Be a nice little learning observatory. Boko's got some like planks he's randomly placing. I don't get it, Boko. Oh, well, I don't think baby. Actually Maybe the has first any... class we should teach is architecture. I, I don't think baby Boko has any rhyme or reason. <clears throat> All right, class, homeschool is now in session. Uh, everybody, pay attention. Hey, stop playing with the stuff on your desk. 
Hey, hey, look up, look at me, look at me. Good job. Today we have a, hey. Do I need to take away your pencils and paper so you can no longer learn by writing down anything? Okay, thank you, all right. So today we're going to learn about mathematics. Yes, the mathematics of living in Hyrule. And today we have a special guest lecturer. She hails from a very educated family and an educated background as opposed to most of the people who live in Hyrule because she is royalty, yes. You know who I'm talking about. Princess Zelda! Hello! I'm Mrs. Doubtfire. I'll be your math teacher. <laughs> I'm the personal assistant to the teacher, and I'm going to sit back here by the unruly children. Thank you. Have a seat. Okay, I need to get get myself a seat. There's one thing every math student must know. Stand on your desk. Okay, there's two things you must know. One, stay trapped in your seat. And two, math. <laughs> so quickly here. Oh, he did it. He's standing on the desk. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and the rest. <laughs> okay, so now you can find the area under a function using uh, intervals and antiderivatives. Any questions? <laughs> no, he's got it figured out. He's taking notes, I think. I think he's taking notes. You're a very good student. Mwah. Mwah. Ah! <laughs> it's time for science class. Ooh, I am. Time things. for science. Uh, uh, Zelda, 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 Zelda. It's homeschool. Some science. It's 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 homeschool. We have to decide. Are we going to teach him science according to Darwin or science according to? Scriptures. Let's start with flat Hyrule theory. All right, that sounds legit. <laughs> Today we're going to learn about geology. That is the study of the planet. And we all know that the planet means, in the ancient Greek, plate. That's right. Planet means plate. What, what, where are you going? Come back. You need to learn about the plate that we live on. Speaking of plates, you're quite a dish. Hey. Hey, I'm trying to teach about how the planet <clears throat> is not a sphere, as you have been led to believe. <laughs> That's right. It is a plate. And we are all on the food chain on top of the plate. See, it's like a meal. A meal, which I know you're into food, Boko, because Boko Bokoblins love food. We are all food on top of the plate. That is is science. All right? Don't listen to him, Boko. Hey, <laughs> teachers have to be united in teaching. We can't have... We have to follow a script, okay? That's why I joined the union. They didn't let you in on account of your uh, plate <laughs> theory. <laughs> Zelda, why don't you take, away, take it away then and teach science? Uh, science is the sister of history, and history is something I know all about, Mr. Link. In the beginning, there they was- They call it his story for a reason. <laughs> Cause it's all about me. Anyway, right? in going. the beginning was uh, Hyrule. And once upon a time, a naughty, stinky boy fell asleep in the Shrine of Resurrection and hit snooze for a hundred years. Hey. I thought the naughty, stinky boy was going to be Boko over here, barely paying attention to no, class. Boko is a beautiful Turned out baby to be boy. He's, he's he would never be stinky. But in my face. Nope, that's, it, his butt smells good. <laughs> no, no. Have you ever smelled a baby's butt? <laughs> yes, I have. It's like flowers. No, unless those flowers are wiped with poop. <laughs> anyway, after he had snoozed a hundred times... Then he disappeared, and Zelda, a beautiful, wonderful, ravishing woman, had to do all the work for him. The end. <laughs> that was the history lesson? If you want to see... It was a little hot, lopsided. If you want to see Zelda doing all of Link's work for him, check out the series in the basement, where Zelda plays Breath of the Wild. That was a small commercial for a wonderful YouTube channel in the middle of the history lesson. I hope you don't mind, baby Boko. 
All right, Baby Boko, it's time for an English lesson. We're going to practice writing some <laughs> words. Are you excited? So the first word is the word dog. Can you write the word dog? God. No. Hey. <gasps> Shh. <laughs> I'm going to get fired. But this Wait, is <laughs> this is homeschool. We can do whatever we school. want. All right, all right. Can you spell the word transubstantiation? <laughs> Transubstantiation. Okay, try it. Speaking of religion in schools. <laughs> Penguin. <laughs> uh, close. Close. Uh, tr tr try again. Tr transubstantiation. Try again. Try again. Penguin. No, using Google. <laughs> <laughs> Trans Ted is an abomination. <laughs> What? T Ted is an abomination. Very good, baby Boko. Very good. That's not how you spell transubstantiation. A for effort and A plus for truth. Let's try an adjective. An adjective is a describing word. Can you use an adjective to describe daddy? I'm a little worried. He's taking a long time here. <laughs> he's, he's thinking about it. He's probably trying not to get grounded. <laughs> I can't wait. Awkward. It is so true. <laughs> Link. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not awkward. Oh. I'm. I'm awkward. Not you're awkward. One more English practice, okay? I want you to practice and, and and write a single sentence. A sentence is a thought that ends in a period. Or a question mark. Oh. Zelda is, is gooder, gooder than, than Link. Link. Okay, th that's a good, that's, you know, sentence structure is there. We have an object. We have a subject. First, have a Zelda verb. is gooder. Then... <laughs> Link. <laughs> <laughs> then Link is the goodest out of all of the gooder things. Okay, Boko, it's time for your next course. We're going to be studying survival. Yeah, you get to go with daddy out into the woods, and we're going to learn how to survive uh, just like Nature Man. Oh, boy, outside. I can't wait to survive with you guys. No, nah, this is just a daddy-son thing. Uh... Okay, but I'm going to follow along in case you do something wrong so I can tell you. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the first thing to finding survival what happened to our is cows? finding water. Well, our cows died. I bet Boko killed all of our cows in a yeah, failed... Yeah, well, we weren't record. I mean, in looking. A, in a failed recording. <laughs> all right, Boko, come over here. Daddy's got some sticks for you. You're going to take two, and I'm going to take two. All right, now we need to use these sticks to find what Hey, Zelda, I'm trying to teach Boko how to find water. I wasn't throwing this eggs. This is a reliable source. Everybody knows from, uh, from Skyward Sword that dowsing is real, and you can use it to find water as well as other things. Dowsing <coughs> works great. See, watch this. Going to set it to hottie. Okay. It went crazy on when I pointed at myself. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you are a hottie. Uh, ah! We need to find water using the dowsing rods that we've got. So, uh, come on, Boko, let's go find some water. Oh, I'm sensing some water over here. The sticks are moving. Yes, yes, this is clearly a reliable method for finding water. Oh, oh, oh my dowsing rods have found water. Let's do a swimming lesson. <laughs> To survive out in the wilderness, you have to not only know how to find water, but also how to make a horse drink. All right, Boko, we're going to practice swimming now, so I want you to just jump into Daddy's arms. Right. Uh, one, two, three. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 shallow here, so he's fine. Oh, oh, no. Jump into my arms, buddy. Come on. Take a little swim. Dippy, dippy, dippy dive. 
No, the wrong way. Uh, here, no, no, no. This isn't water. This is not safe. The, you don't jump in this. Oh, it's see, it's fine. It, just don't, just don't go in it. And you'll be fine. Good jumping, Boko. Yeah, that's pretty good. Should I try too? Link, I don't like him playing there. You make sure he stays okay. safe. Ah! Link, help me! Oh. 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 Boko, save your father! Oh no! It's happening again! Oh! <laughs> oh no. Well, Boko, that concludes today's courses for you. Great first day of homeschool. Great job. You learned a lot from one of your teachers. Me, namely. Uh, <clears throat> If anyone wants to vote who's the better teacher in the comments below, Mrs. Zelda? No, Mr. Zelda. Or I mean, like, Mr. Stinky Pants. Make sure you're subscribed to catch the next installment of Baby Bokoblin Boko's Misadventures with Link and Zelda. Coming soon. In the basement. <laughs>